Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Planet Coaster and welcome back to Pirate Valley. Today is part 15 of Pirate Valley and right off the bat, where is Utopian Heights? Because people have been asking me this for quite a while. Utopian Heights isn't gone, it's not abandoned, I'm just taking my time with it and I have been working primarily on actually finishing Pirate Valley. Uh, this isn't going to be the final part of Pirate Valley, there will be at least one more. Uh, I've actually really enjoyed coming back to build stuff in Pirate Valley. It's 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 very strange. Like my big complaint with Pirate Valley at the end of like or what I thought was sort of the end ish was that it got all very samey and it was kind of difficult and a bit weird and the game doesn't have necessarily enough stuff in it to do what I want to do. And then I went on to Utopian Heights, did three parts on that, and we now I come back to Pirate Valley and I'm like, you know what, this is actually a lot of fun. Which it is. It's it's nice being back and working on Pirate Valley, so... I mean, I'm not going to spend this entire video talking about Utopian Heights. We'll just say that it's coming back. Uh, it's not gone. I just want to actually focus on finishing this one first. Rather than continuing Utopian Heights and pushing Pirate Valley away. Because I, I have this thing, I'm sure you've noticed, where I promise, like, yeah, we're going to do this thing tomorrow, and then it never comes out. So... I don't want to do that. I don't want to keep saying in every episode of Utopian Heights, yeah, Pirate Valley's not done. It'll be back soon. I just want to get it done. So what we're building today is uh, this building initially, right, this one right here, is actually in the spot that the first building ever in Pirate Valley was in, uh, along with that first roller coaster. And then we do a bit of work in the space that uh, was originally taken up by the swinging ship ride that was up here. But generally speaking today, we're putting this building in, and this building was sort of an experiment in using the precision construction tools, which I actually haven't played around with all that much. So I was playing around with those a lot to um, just create these dormers and create a lot of different things, and I'm quite happy with how this turned out. This building was, honestly, right up until the last 20 minutes I spent in this building, I was looking at it and going, I'm probably going to delete this. I did live stream this bit. I, I didn't bother putting the live stream promo at the start of the video because... I only live streamed the construction of this building, and this building takes up like, I don't know, it takes up a bit of the video, it doesn't take up the whole video. But uh, yeah, this this building, out of the things we build today, this building took up the most time. I think this building took like, this building alone for some reason took me two hours. I don't know why, but it did. It took a while, and honestly, that's something I'm going to take away from this, and I'm going to sort of look at Utopian Heights when we get back to it, I'm going to look at the like future episode or episodes of uh, Pirate Valley. And I'm going to sort of spend, try and spend like two hours on an individual building a lot more often because it used to be like two, two hours used to be like, yeah, that's probably like two thirds of a let's build because I would speed them up like 900% and it came out fine. Uh, I'm actually quite pleased that I did spend so long in this building. I think it does end up looking really good. But, uh, I will also say I'm not necessarily going to do a a play-by-play -play commentary of everything going on today. I'll mention things, and this is something I, I feel weird uh, saying because I don't know if I need to say and remind people that I like to ramble. I just, I always feel weird, you know? I always feel weird sitting down to do these Let's Builds, and then I just sort of talk a bunch of rubbish, you know? I, I don't necessarily talk about the build, I don't talk about what I'm doing. I do like the little details I put in there below the balconies, though. I actually stole the idea of using those marble uh, decorative pieces from uh, Silveret, or Silveret. I still don't know how to pronounce the dude's name. I'm so sorry. I call him, I generally say Silv. Like, if I comment in one of his videos, it's like, yo, Silv, this is incredible. Uh, so, I'll go with Silv. I stole it from him. I think it was, he did... In Grizzly Valley, I think it was. He had like the Roman area and had a lot of the tops of buildings, like just tiled those and made it look really good. Totally stole that from him. Uh, by the way, Silvaret, incredible planet coaster builder. Go watch his channel and like everything he does because it's so much better than anything I do. Uh, anyway, that aside, just doing the uh, sides of the buildings here. I'm actually really pleased with the little balcony spaces I did in the roof on these. Uh, I thought it was a little bit different and was a nice way to just add a little bit of variety and detail to the sides of the building because sides of buildings are weird. And that's, that's like, <laughs> that's, that's like, I've had 10 
10 drinks. I'm a little bit drunk at the end of the night. I'm just sitting there at a bus stop looking at the side of a building going, that's a bit weird. Uh, but no, sides of, the sides of buildings are weird, aren't they? Because think about it. You look at the front of a building and you go, that's beautiful. You look at the back of a building, it's got like a lot of like ivy growing up it. You're in like, you're in like an old Eng English country village in a beer garden behind a pub and you're looking at the back of the building going, there's a lot of history here. But no one in the history of history has looked at the side of a building and gone, it's not bad, it's all right. Literally no one. So sides of buildings are weird for that very reason. I did realize though, that side of the building there over by the road had to have some detail, had to look kind of fancy because it was something people would see. So I did add some uh, detail just here and there and I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. Anyway, onto the tower and I decided to, <laughs> You know, I've just realized, um, I, I said just a minute ago, I'm not gonna do a play-by-play -play commentary of this video. I like to ramble. I'm not rambling. Anyway, uh, so I'm adding some red coats in there. They're gonna be firing out. And uh, I'm actually really pleased with the way I use the red coats in this. I have one that's marching up and down in front of the building. You'll see him shortly. I have all the smoke pouring out of this building and the red coats firing there. And I just thought it looked cool. And I was sort of conscious of the fact that this lower area of, um, of the town, I suppose, not the pirate section itself, but the town itself, this lower area was sort of a military fort and the red coats fit that really well. So something I want to spend some time doing at some point is going around all of this, adding in a bunch of red coats and making it look populated. And Frontier, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, guys. Love the game. Big fan. Big fan. But but, and let's, let's, have, let's have a serious conversation here. I would really appreciate some animatronic pirates to go along with my red coats. Just saying, that would be, that'd be fab. Uh, so, you know, um, wouldn't say no. Anyway, uh, back to the build. What I've done here is I've actually pulled the building apart ever so slightly to create a, uh, bit of a yard behind it. I can't remember what I put in the yard, but I, I put some, I think it looks like toilets. I put toilets in there so people would at least walk about in there. And uh, I just did this because there wasn't really much I could put to the left of the building that we just constructed. So I thought filling in the space with a bit of a yard could be a pretty good idea. And I like it. I think it's a cool extension of the building and it's something I want to uh, play around with a little bit more with the whatever we end up finishing Pirate Valley with. I really don't know. And it's weird. I really don't know what else to add to this um because i, I am gonna add you know we, we do a little bit of a main street in the second part of this video but other than that there's not much else like the lower area of the park can use a little bit of detailing a little bit of refining i need to refine the entrance to the pirate section itself but other than that i do think uh once we get those new buildings in for the main street up here uh, once I refine the lower area of the park, refine the terrain, like, really, there's not much else to do. There is maybe, like, th honestly, there, there's probably, assuming I don't come up with another thing to build, there is probably, like, one episode of uh, building left on this. I'm not going to say that for certain, just because I might come up with something else to add in here. But I think getting the other, getting the buildings done and then just refining could be a good idea. And I feel like the refining might be a little weird in a time lapse because it'll just be little things, but I'll do it anyway as sort of a final time lapse to show you the whole thing. And then I think we will have like a, a final video on its own of just all of the park, just walking you through the whole thing. I want to do this big cinematic thing, uh, but then I do want to like go into a real time bit for like 10 minutes and just walk you through all the rides, give you all the POVs all that stuff. So that's the idea at least. Uh, what we're doing here, by the way, is just planning out roughly the space that I want all the buildings of this main street to go into. I did all these roads off camera because I wasn't really sure where they were going to go and they're sort of susceptible to change. And uh, now we're just adding in some buildings and I kind of wanted to just have a mix of like the looks of buildings here. They all sort of look the same. I mean, I say I'm going for a mix. I mean a mix of like depths of buildings. So some of them come out further, some of them are further back, some of them are like brick in one bit and then stucco in another bit. 
And I just thought it worked. I kind of wanted a... A little bit of a generic main street here because the big feature of this main street is what goes at the end of it that you'll see in the cinematic shots at the end. Uh, which is the radius, the big blue Ferris wheel looking thing, which looks incredibly out of place in Pirate Valley, but I like it. I actually like the contrast between these sort of really old looking Main Street buildings here and then this giant futuristic Ferris wheel, which interestingly, this is now two Planet Coaster Let's Build videos in a row that have had a bit of a focus on that ride because Utopian Heights Part 3 had it with the radius inside the building, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm alright with that. I like the radius. It's a cool ride. Uh, just saying. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool ride. I will say, something I did a lot more of with, um, these builds was playing around with, uh, just layering different things. You'll have noticed it already by this point, but I, I sort of got into the habit of going like, okay, so we have this window. It looks boring on its own. Let's put more stuff around it. Let's layer other windows on top of it. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's just make it look a little more detailed. And I'm quite pleased with how everything turned out as a result. I think it does look uh, pretty cool, honestly. And I also love that little like awning thing there over the door with the little bit of roof. I absolutely adore that. I think it looks excellent. Uh, so, so pleased with that. And honestly, just in general, I'm I'm kind of happy with uh, with how this main street turned out. It's nothing really all that special. I'm not. I it's it's not my. Uh, I don't want to say it's not my favorite thing because that makes me sound like I'm going like, oh yeah, this whole thing uh, you're watching. Don't like it. I like it. I do. It's not necessarily my favorite thing yet, and I think that's because it is a little bit unfinished. Speaking of unfinished, uh. <laughs> These buildings don't get finished in this episode. Uh, this episode is is an interesting one. This episode exists right now in the state it's in because I recorded so much. I have recorded a lot lately. I've been. I'm not going to sit here and go. I'm super busy. Um, but I have been super busy lately with just various things. I filled my hard drive. There was like 1.2 terabytes of footage for this episode. Not all of it's been used, by the way, but. Uh, there was like 1.2 terabytes of footage for this episode and that was enough to fill my hard drive. My hard drive, by the way, it's like a four terabyte hard drive, but I have like every video I've made since I got this PC back in December. So I have like six months of videos on this hard drive, uh, rendered videos, which can range from like being like 500 megabytes to being like 10 gigabytes, depending on the, no, not 10, we'll go five gigabytes is usually like kind of the biggest I upload these days. But yeah, I, I have a very full hard drive that I need to clear out a little bit. I do have an external hard drive, a uh, 500 gigabyte one that I'm starting to put all of my older videos onto as like a an archive, basically. I haven't really been doing a good job of that, apparently, because I managed to fill my hard drive whilst recording this. So that was great. So yeah, after, uh, <laughs> after I'm done with this commentary and rendering this video and uploading it, the idea is uh is to go ahead and clear up my hard drive a little bit so yeah that's just a a little psa on why this video doesn't necessarily have uh completely finished buildings in it these buildings at the moment are all facades you'll notice that they don't have backs to them i've actually decided that uh i'm gonna do the backs to these buildings off camera and leave them for like cinematic shots or something like that because they're not going to be all that interesting. There's going to be some gardens back there, some small little stalls or something. But nothing uh, nothing particularly grand that I want to put behind these. The backs of the buildings aren't going to look particularly grand either. They'll be fancy enough. I mean, they'll match the front and they'll be quite nice if it needs to be quite nice. Uh, but I just, I, I think I want to focus on, I want to focus like the time-lapse parts on the areas that just look that little bit better. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, now, this building in the corner here doesn't actually end up being a regular building. This actually ends up being a, uh, a tower, which I'm really pleased with. It is another tower that has red coats on it. Uh, I don't remember what exactly I put on top of it, but I'm pleased with it. I like it. I think it's quite a nice looking tower. I think it, uh, 
It's actually in a pretty cool place because it is right by the radius. So you sort of get a nice view from the tower of the radius and of the tower from the radius. And this tower also has a really nice view, a bit like the other one, over the entire lower section of the park, which I just love. That's something I'm playing around with a little bit more lately. It's why I thought the radius would be cool in this spot. Because you can imagine just going up this ride and you just have the entire sprawl of Pirate Valley uh, just out the window of the ride or something like that. And I think that'd be really cool to see. Because this thing from above, I've tweeted pictures of it in the past. I don't know. I mean, the most recent one was probably a couple of months ago. But uh, Pirate Valley from above is really cool. I'm most proud of this park when I'm looking at it from quite far away. And that's not to say that it looks terrible up close. That's just that all of the details and all of the things just come together uh, really nicely from, from a distance. And I feel like that's, that's the same with a lot of things. Like the further you stand back from something, uh, like the less you're going to notice any flaws that might exist. It's why, you know... You can, you can stand really far away from a painting and go, that's a masterpiece. Then you get up close and go, I could do better than that. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. But yeah, I, it just it looks really, really good from above. And that's something I'm going to get into, like, the final cinematic video of this park. Whenever that may be. I don't know when that'll be. Uh, but that's something I do want to get in there. Is uh, some nice aerial shots of the whole thing. Because I just love it. I really do. And like I said, it was nice coming back to Pirate Valley to revisit the whole thing and just kind of play around with the the variety of building styles because that's actually one of the biggest changes from uh, going from Pirate Valley to Utopian Heights for me was that it was a lot easier in some senses. It was, it was both easier because of the lack of variety in styles and it was harder because you then have to look at it from the perspective of someone who has to make everything look really good, but the same. In Pirate Valley, it was quite easy to make everything look kind of good. And I'm, I'm talking about this like we're done with it. This isn't necessarily the last episode, but I guess this is more of a reflection on it because I've been away from it for a little while. Uh, but in Pirate Valley, it's quite easy to make a lot of things look interesting and unique and good because you can play around with all these different wall pieces and window styles and all that stuff but with utopian heights it's all modern so you use the blue tile set or the white tile set and that's about it and you have to make everything look good and unique but the same so yeah that's uh that's fun that's that's that is the biggest challenge with utopian heights i suppose anyway that's not keep rambling on about Utopian Heights because I'll probably end up repeating myself in an episode of that at some point, which I really don't want to do. So yeah, let's uh, let's not ramble too much. This building here in the middle, by the way, I... I like it on one hand, and on another, I... I don't know. There's a few things about it I like, a few things I don't like, and I think this one might end up getting tweaked a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I might tweak it. I might not. Uh, actually, something I... A final point, okay? Final point for this episode, because we are getting towards the end. I mean, we're still, like, what, a minute or two away from the end? Uh, I can't quite tell on my timeline. But basically, something I've realized is that I build in a really awkward scale. A lot of my buildings are, like, three tiles wide on the front, and windows look really weird um, being that far apart. I've actually, I've done some experimenting, uh, and again, it was actually Silvaret that inspired me to do this, because he mentioned it in one of his builds that his buildings are quite thin, so he adds a lot of detail to the front and makes up the scale look really good. Um, I've actually found a building can look really good if you have quite a wide door on one of the wall pieces, and then like two windows on the wall piece to the side of it. And that's, that's just me toying around with it, and the scale just looks better. And having windows a bit closer together looks better. It looks less awkward. That's why I placed the windows the way I did in the front of this building. So yeah, it was, uh... It's, it's interesting still experimenting with things. Uh, the only sad thing is I can't really apply what I've learned to Pirate Valley at this point. Because it would look weird. Because I've built in the style that I've built in this whole time for the whole thing. So changing it now would make some new buildings look out of place. 
Uh, but I am going to keep that style and that kind of sense of scale in mind for other projects that I might take into account. Utopian Heights is redundant because it's huge, but you get what I mean. Basically, uh, keeping a sense of scale is really important and kind of keeping a sense of scale of how big windows are is really important because the wall pieces are... They can dwarf some of the window pieces. They really can. Uh, so I need to keep that in mind and make sure I work with scale in a sensible manner. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for Pirate Valley Part 15. If you liked the video, like the video. If you have any and all feedback for this, if you want to see me build anything in Part 16 or potentially in Part 17, do let me know because we are getting towards wrapping up this series uh, and then moving on full-time to Utopian Heights. But like I said, that is going to be it. There are some cinematic shots. Stick around for those. Thank you, Ken, for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!